What is up, people on the internet? JQL here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm doing a custom Lego video on my custom Lego minifigure from Iron Man 2, and here we have the Iron Man Mark V. And uh, I, there's no real reason why I make it this figure. I just decided to make it because, you know, why not? I felt like it because uh, after rewatching Iron Man 2, I realized that scene was really cool. So, yeah, like my Iron Man Mark 7, I decided to be, do a nostalgic figure. So, um, yeah, anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it for the intro and why I decided to make this figure, so let's get started with this video. Alright, here is the Mark V, and this figure I'm really proud of. Uh, it's not perfect, because I'm not perfect, you know, I'm not very good at sculpting, but... Um, for someone from my skill level, I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, not perfect, like I said, but pretty good job. I'm really happy with this figure, one of my favorite figures of 2018. Um, yeah, uh, I did make a version of the Mark V a long time ago, I can't remember when, but I did make a version, but I no longer have uh, that figure, so, yeah, I can't compare it, I don't even have a picture, I don't think, so, yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, anyway, um, where to start? This figure was 100% sculpted by me, and it also 100% painted by me, so, I guess we can start with the helmet. The helmet is at just a standard uh, Iron Man helmet. I just painted the eyes white, the visor silver, and the entirety of this figure in this metallic red color. Um, not completely accurate, but honestly, I didn't really care, so, um, yeah. I just painted all the detail you see there, and I also, if I flip up the visor, you can see I got, uh, Tony in there, and... He looks pretty cool in there, using the standard Lego face. And I also did paint in a visor. Uh, I'm not very good at painting visors, because one, I've never painted a visor. Uh, like, you know, with an Iron Man figure. Because usually I don't really care about this kind of feature. But I decided to try it for the first time. And this is really hard to paint. It doesn't, it doesn't look that great. But, you know, in my defense, I've never painted it before. So props to people like Ross, who actually painted in the visor. Because that was a pain in the butt. So, anyway, closing that up. I did outline all the details on the helmet, and then uh, all the sculpted bits, I did outline some details, too, to bring out, you know, more detail. And I just dropped my water bottle. That's, that's cool. Um, anyway, legs fully painted. Uh, I didn't fully sculpt the legs because, one, the legs aren't that bulky, and, two, I didn't want to hinder too much articulation because I already, he can't really lean forward. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. I could talk about this figure. It's a lot of detail, so I guess I'll just give you one last 360 look of this figure uh, before I, uh, end this segment, one more, there we go, anyway, so yeah, uh, I guess one thing I could do is, if I bring in my Mark 7 figure, I can just move the camera to the side a little bit, uh, this is my original, the Mark 7 figure I made, like, uh, I want to say last year, maybe even, not, probably not that long ago, but this is a figure I definitely want to redo, because this figure, I think it turned out, uh, pretty great. I was really proud of it when I first made it, but then, you know, as time went on, I thought, man, I could do so much better than this figure. Um, so, yeah, I might redo it if I ever feel like it, but, um, not sure yet. So, anyway, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, and I guess we can just wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if you like the figure you see here, then make sure to hit that like button. And also, if you guys like what you see here and you want to see more custom minifigures made by me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and sub subscribe to my channel if you have not already, because I'm always making more customs. So if you subscribe, then you can see them here uh, when I release them. But if you do want to see them earlier, however, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Flickr. All the links in the description below, because I do post there uh, more than I post here. And I also post my customs finished before I post them here. So, yeah, if you want to see them earlier, um, follow me there. So, anyway, I'm not going to do, like, more Iron Man figures uh, too often. I might make, like, a couple nostalgic ones, like I did for the Mark 7 and Mark 5 here, but um, I just made it for, for nostalgia purposes, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make more in the future, so don't bother asking if I'm going to make more Iron Man figures. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video, I guess, so... Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video whenever or whatever video that'll be, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.